Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus, a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. Glucocorticoids, aka our steroids, the stress and swelling hormones, guys. They're used for anti-inflammatory effects ending in zone, like prednisone, dexamethasone, hydrocortisone, and flujocortisone. Guys, these are given to help the body respond to inflammation and stress. Commonly prescribed for inflamed lungs like COPD, inflamed joints like rheumatoid arthritis, inflamed skin like psoriasis, and even inflamed body like lupus where the body attacks itself, and also allergic reactions where everything swells up. Sounds friendly enough, right? Well, wrong! Guys, steroids come with a laundry list of both side effects and patient teaching, which comes up a lot on the NCLEX as well as HESI and ATI exit exams. So let's review this from our endocrine series. So here are the top seven most tested steroid side effects and nursing considerations. Now I can guarantee you at least three or four will be on your exam. So remember the seven S's of steroids ending in zone, like prednisone. S for swollen, steroids swell the body. So weight gain means water gain. We see a big moon face with big blood pressure. Big keywords here, sudden, excessive, or rapid weight gain. Teach patients to report one pound in one day, or even two to three pounds in a few days. S for sepsis or infection from low WBCs. Guys, this leads to slow wound healing, which is a huge risk for a fever and infection. Always priority on the NCLEX. Any low-grade fever, even 100 or 37.8 degrees Celsius, can be very serious. Now, sugar will be increased. Hyperglycemia, over 115. So guys, for diabetics on steroids, steroids increase the sugar. So we increase the insulin. Write that one down, big key word for the NCLEX. Now skinny muscles and bones or osteoporosis, big risk for fractures. And sites, specifically risk for cataracts. So we're referring these patients to optometrist. Another NCLEX tip guys, everyone always misses that one on SATA questions. And lastly, to prevent Addisonian crisis, we always teach patients to slowly taper off, never an abrupt stop. And again, for stress and surgery, we always increase the dose with increased stress. Write that one down. I saw that one like three times on the NCLEX review. Now, three common NCLEX questions from our 10,000 question review. The nurse should be concerned when the client states, I have a sore on my leg that won't go away. Which medication should be reviewed by the HCP? Select all that apply. Guys, this is a very common test question. So remember, steroids suppress the immune system, causing slow wound healing. So we're looking for zone-ending steroids. So option number one, naproxen. No, guys, this is an NSAID, not a steroid. Option number two, dihydromorphinone. Nope, this one's really tricky since this is a pain med. The brand name is Dilaudid. It ends in one, but not zone. How about dexamethasone? Yes, guys, this is a zone-ending steroid, so that is our correct option there. How about hydrocordone? No, guys, again, this is a very tricky distractor, which NCLEX loves to trick you guys. So this is an opioid painkiller ending in own or one and not zone. And it sounds very similar to hydrocortisone, our last option. Now, another question, which priority teaching is required for a patient prescribed prednisone for lupus? Option number one. Report slight increases in blood pressure to HCP immediately. No, guys, increases in sugar with steroids are normal. Key word here is slight increase, so there's no need to report. How about option number two? Increase the dose before surgery or during times of stress. Well, guys, yes, this is priority. Stress can kill, so we increase the steroids during the stress, like surgery. How about option number three? we monitor weight weekly. Well, guys, no, guys, we're monitoring weight daily. This is the most important value to monitor. Remember, steroids swell the body. So any weight gain usually means water gain. We're reporting keywords like new, rapid, or unusual weight gain. Now, option number four, 
take with a full meal at breakfast. Yes, guys, this is true. No extra teaching is needed but with morning and meals, and it's not a priority. Now, the last question, which of the following is an indication that the client needs additional teaching while taking fludrocortisone? So option number one, I will not discontinue this medication abruptly. Yes, guys, this is true. We never stop steroids suddenly or abruptly. We always decrease or increase the dose gradually. Now, the key word here is taper on and off steroids slowly. Always remember that. Now, option number two, new bilateral pedal edema is normal. No, guys, this is not normal. Key word here is new, the new edema. Now, this should be and needs to be reported to the HCP. Now, option number three, the most important value to monitor is my weight. Yes, guys, again and again, weight gain usually means water gain. So we're reporting new rapid weight gain immediately. And lastly, option number four, I will report signs and symptoms of infection. Yes, guys, steroids suppress the immune system, which increases the risk for sepsis or basically infection. All right, guys, that wraps it up for steroids. Don't forget to take your quiz in the quiz bank area. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.